got an exam question walkthrough here of the structure determination question from the H432 paper 2 from 2018. So here's the bit of the question that I want to look at. It's the NMR part and you've got all this information here, some elemental analysis by mass, some information from the mass spectrum and what I think is the tricky part, we've got the proton NMR spectrum that's been run in D2O. We're told the numbers by the peaks are the relative peak areas and some information there at bottom right. When the spectrum is run without D2O, there were two additional peaks with the same relative peak areas and they would have come up at 11.0 ppm and 3.6. So from all of that information, we've got to come up with a suitable structure for this compound. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready and then I'll go through the answer. So we'll start with the easy stuff, the elemental analysis by mass. It's basically just an empirical formula calculation. So we just put the percentages in, divide by the MR and we get the mole ratio, divide by the smallest and that gives us the simplest whole number ratio of 2 to 4 to 1. So that tells us that the empirical formula is C2H4O. So when we work out the MR of that, it comes out at 44. And then we're going to bring in the information from the mass spectrum. So we're told the molecular ion peak, M over Z132. So that's obviously the MR of the molecule. So we divide that by the um, 44 that we got for the MR of the empirical. So the molecule is three times heavier, if you like. So we just multiply the empirical formula out by three. So we get a molecular formula of C6H12O3. So moving on to the NMR spectrum now. So I'm just going to take each peak in turn and sort of talk through the types of things you can say, annotate, and you're scoring marks all the time by doing this. So we'll take that peak furthest to the left there. So first thing I would say is, it's a quartet. So what does that mean? The hydrogens causing that peak must be adjacent to three hydrogens or a CH3 group. The area of one means there's one proton in the environment and that shift value of four means the environment is HC to O. So basically that little part of the molecule looks like that. So that's causing the peak and the fact that it's adjacent to those three means it's split into that quartet. So the next peak I'm going to look at is actually this one here because these protons are going to be next to each other because we've got, essentially, we've got this has been split into the quartet by those protons. So these protons, a signal for these, are going to be split into the doublet that we can see far right by this proton here. So that signal there is a doublet, so the protons causing the peak must be adjacent to one other hydrogen, so that's what I was saying there. The area is three, so it must be a CH3, and the environment is an HCR environment, so that all sort of ties together. So there's just the confirmation of that. And then we'll finish with this tall peak, area 6. So it's a singlet. So the hydrogens causing the peak aren't adjacent to any other hydrogens. The area is 6, so we've got 6 protons in the environment. So in other words, there must be 2 CH3 groups, 2 equivalent CH3 groups. And the environment's HCR. So that little bit of the molecules is looking a bit random at the moment of just those 2 CH3 groups. So now we're going to bring in that extra information about the D2O spectrum. So we've got those two extra peaks with the same relative peak areas at 11 ppm and 3.6. So just a reminder about what D2O does. It removes signals from OH and NH protons. There's no nitrogen in the molecule. So that peak at 11 ppm could be an OH. Remember the OH absorption is virtually the full uh, length of the scale, so say from about 1 all the way up to 12. Um, so it could be an OH proton or it could be a COOH. And the peak at 3.6, that can't be a COOH, so that's going to be an OH. 
So one possible structure, there's a few answers to this. So the one I've gone for has a COOH in it and an OH, and that gets us the three O's that we need. So here's what I've come up with. So I'll just run through the peaks very quickly. So the peak at delta 4 ppm is that single hydrogen, that one there, adjacent to the CH3, split into a quartet. There's its sort of partner there, so that there's the doublet peak there. And that big tall peak is those two CH3 groups. So the peak at delta 11 I'm saying is due to the COOH proton and the peak at delta 3.6 is that OH proton there. So like I said a minute ago, there are other possible structures, not just the one I've gone for as the answer. You could have two OH groups in, so this one works here. So does that one, and so does that one. So you may have gone for one of those, and there are actually other structures on top of those as well. But like I said, I would probably have gone for the structure that I came up with, that one there.